Hey, what's up, Money Tree members? My name is Lloyd Ross, and welcome to me interviewing Pamela again. What's up, Pam? Hi. <laughs> Doing the old royal wave there. Hi, 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 everyone. Hi. Uh, so good to have you back so quickly. Uh, Thank which is amazing. You. Yeah, Thanks for having me back again. I'm excited. <laughs> of course. No, no, my pleasure. Uh, for those of you who don't know Pam, um, she's, if you scroll down, she's done a few posts in the group. And of course, um, we've done a live together back in February when she started the Five Steps to Millions mentorship program, only a short stint after beginning. She had so much success so quickly, but the success has continued. And I really wanted to bring her on so she could share her her success with us. So Pam, what have you been up to the last eight weeks since we chatted last? <laughs> um, a lot of things, a lot of exciting things. Um, I think since we chatted, it was more around, you know, building up my practice and, and how to add value and give value to my clients, um, but also working on my mindset. Um, so ever since then, I've just had immense results. Um, as you know, <laughs> I resigned from my nine to five job two weeks ago. <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> um, and it all came from one of our Q&As when I think you asked me, um, all two of them, what's it costing you to stay? That was like the light bulb moment. And then when yeah. you said to me, when are you giving in your resignation? And initially I was like, <gasps> you know, maybe in 12 months time, maybe. Um, and then the following week I had pretty much written up my resignation letter and handed it in. So I couldn't believe how one thought really just, you know, changed my life. Yeah. James, <laughs> it, it, it's amazing um but you know why though because you're coachable and you show up to the calls and you lean into it and you listen you implement and you action and you're just such a, a pleasure to work with and and you you were it was just a it was just a mindset thing you just needed some encouragement you know got everything you need you, you're amazing so so let's let's unpack this a little bit um the other thing too is you, you when we first chatted you only just begun your investing journey as well Yes, yes, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and so far, you've you've made some good progress there too, um, that I learned today. So, you want to share with the guys what you've learned there as well? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think when we first started, I didn't even have an investment account. I didn't even know what Vanguard was or or anything. Um, and the thought of investing even a hundred dollars scared me because I was like, I'm never going to get that money back. Um, so. <laughs> Um, so April, four months down the track, I've um, I've pretty much invested over thirty thousand in my portfolio, and I I guess today we reflected on how I was hesitant to even put in a thousand, and then all of a sudden yeah. I've just gone all in and committed, yeah. uh, and it's so freeing. And I think learning today about how you know the benefits and and understanding what inflation can do, and I guess new knowledge that for me it was just never spoken about, you know, and, and I think I needed a mentor because I wanted to change my money story. Um, yeah. so. you de you've definitely done that, I would say. Um, you've definitely, you, you know, when we talk about the five steps, we talk about mindset, mentorship, managing your money, multiplying your money, and then making more money. And what's fascinating about your journey so far, even 16 weeks in, not not even, you know, four months, and you've you've had some you had success in some money management. When we first had our call, you set up your accounts. Remember that? Yes. Did that, and then and then got through that part, and then opened your investment account. You started there. Now it's at thirty thousand. You would have been paid your you would have been paid a passive income check already as well. Yes. Yes, I got my <laughs> first. <laughs> Which is amazing, right? And you've also had your job, and you had this side business you were working on. And a few recrafts of your offer and a bit of a push to do an extra day and sort of that millionaire attitude of I will work for this and get this. You had it all in you, but just a little bit of encouragement and support and some ideas and you you, you did it and you flourished. And then you took a bold step to know, well, I can do this. I've got plenty of work now. I can actually leave. But having the courage to do that too, which I know I've been there. It takes, I've been there twice. It takes courage to do those things, to disappoint people. So your success has really been a perfect example of 
all of the five steps to millions in practice, you know what it actually looks like. You're doing all the steps perfectly. So how does it feel now in, in four months of doing the steps with your money story? You want to change it? Now where's it at? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. It's just <laughs> I wouldn't even recognize myself, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I went from literally reaching out to you because I felt that I had robbed myself because I had I kept on digging into my savings um, yeah. to now having a money rule where I'm like, nope, I get that money. I have my rules. If I've done all of that, then I can spend and, and splurge and not feel guilty. Like I think a lot of, again, mindset was around spending, feeling guilty, spending, feeling guilty in that endless yeah. cycle. Whereas when you said to me, what's your money rule? I was like, oh, I need to think of one. And now that I have, I'm like, oh, now I feel like you're respecting my money and money is respecting me back. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yep. We, our money will respect us as we respect it. But it's fascinating because it's the simple things um, of having your money rules to help you manage your money, keeping things simple in your accounts. Um, having a purpose for your money too is important, right? Like you know now where it goes and so you're giving it a, a job to multiply and that obviously encourages you, right, to do better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And to, and we've done so much other stuff because on the Q&As, other things <laughs> popped up too, like um, I forget what it was that you did, but then you opened up an opportunity for yourself to be uh, interviewed in magazines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how did that happen again? Oh my goodness! I <laughs> so I have been on Vogue since we last spoke. We yeah. Was... <laughs> Vogue. Oh, <I'm> yeah. <laughs> how did it come about though? How? Because we did a call. We were talking about something, and then it it happened the following week. You know, I think um. So I had someone that I had previously worked with reach out to me, and um. You know, she kind of like obviously saw value in, in what I was providing to my clients that she asked me if I would, I, I would, you know, talk about a certain topic. And yeah, I, I didn't even think twice about it. I did it obviously at no cost. I sent it to her. Um, she was very grateful. And then the next thing you know, she had sent it to another company. That company was thrilled. Again, no, no added cost. Um, they asked me if, you know, they could use my story, um, you know, to publish it in seven different media outlets. And I had no idea one of them was going to be Vogue. So when the day came, I was like, this can't be real. But this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't texted you and said, Lloyd, I have this opportunity. I'm very scared. What do I do? Do I say no? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And you were like, no, no you go and put. <laughs> yeah. I think the conversation we had, looking back now from, from my memory service, you right, is that um, I think I said, hey, you know, in 10,000 years, we're all going to be dead, buried, and gone, and our history is going to not be here. It's really going to be irrelevant as to what actually happens to the outcome of this conversation for you. And I think for you, you had it in you. Again, you have everything in you you need to succeed. And I think it's just that little mindset shift of oh that's right i'm gonna die so who cares and then it's <laughs> go through and do those things and, and be a messy at it and be okay with being imperfect yes. so maybe it yes. equipped you just enough to, to go and do it but i think you know you've got it in you already it's all you yeah I, I definitely took that away we're like go make a mess and he was like okay i'm gonna go do that <laughs> yeah. permission because you're a human being we're not we're not perfect right like this uh this stream now is not perfect the things i do aren't perfect I just think we give we put a, a pressure on ourselves too much and uh, it prevents us doing things that prevent us making more money that prevent us you know investing that prevent us taking that new job or that new career or that side hustle whatever it is it's this fear of making you know looking bad or or, or not being perfect right so yeah. you got through that with ease I, I i don't know what's on the horizon for you so what is it now after being there for four months what do you see for yourself now into the future what does your future look like well i'm going to be working three days a week which i am so excited about because for the last seven years i've been working six days non-stop you know head down um yep. now it's the point where i can half that and have time for myself have time to do nothing um have time to just have freedom and i think when i first started this mentorship i was like okay i want freedom 
but how am I going to get freedom? What does freedom even look like? Yeah. And now I feel like I'm closer to to that than I've ever been in my life. So I'm so yeah. excited. It's amazing, really. It is. I, I just, you've just done everything perfectly. <laughs> We're talking about him being perfect, but you've just executed with courage. Um, and I think that's that's where that's where some mentorship helps. Uh, you know, everyone has it in them already, but a different perspective, new mindset, new skills, new knowledge. It can it can just drastically change things, right? So, um, what would be your advice to? Yeah, there are a lot of people in our Facebook group, 1,600 now, I think. There's a lot of readers that this might may go out in the email, not too sure yet. But um, there's people that are watching, uh, maybe they're listening to my, the podcast, and they're looking for help like what you were. What would be your advice to them? I think um, I think there would be so many pieces of advice, but what I would probably say is... Um, to believe that you deserve to have a better story than what you tell yourself. Um, because I think for me, it was always about, this is it, like, this is my story. This is what I've been taught. This is what I don't know. And, and that's just it. But when I decided to change my story and say to myself, I actually want to have a good relationship with money. I actually want to be, you know, confident and independent and, you know, financially wealthy. I want that for myself. What am I going to do to get there? And that's when I was like, okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to commit 100% in. And that's when I got your mentorship program. Um, you know, I definitely made sure that I aligned with my mentor. <laughs> so as you know, it's no secret. I was stalking you for a little while. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I've sure got some stalkers here as well. I have to do that, isn't it? Like you have to know. You yeah, know, definitely. So definitely a piece of advice is you can change your story. Your story doesn't have to be what you've been telling yourself over and over again. There you go. Your story doesn't have to be what you tell yourself. So you don't have to live into that identity, right? You can create a new identity. I would say looking out in that if someone watched this, and please feel free to comment. Maybe if you watch it to this far, comment below what you think about Pam when you think about, when you look at her and listen to her, what do you think in terms of her financial success? Like I don't know if someone's gonna leave a comment or not, but I think for me it's like you have it together, you have your money together, completely. I think there's no gaps now, and I think that is wonderful to see in just 16 weeks what is possible when you put your mind to it. Um, and for, yeah, fortune favors the brave. That's probably a, yes. A <laughs> yeah, it does. You be brave. You have courage, but you need to you know you, you just lent into it and. You have it all. I think, and what's great about your situation now is you've got everything in place. So now it's just a matter of having some patience and doing the th same things over and over again until your wealth scales. Mm -hmm. And you will just never have any financial problems. Yeah. Well, the fact that I don't have any debts, you know, I think when I first spoke to you, we were like, okay, again, <laughs> for me, it was like, okay, in 10 years' time, when I don't have debt, and and then it was in two months' time I paid yeah. out all. My <laughs> it's just food, isn't it? It's just hey, I haven't thought of doing that, and you did it, and you paid it off your debt. I I, I don't know what to say. You're an A, a, a grade, A plus student. I think it's um you're a wonderful inspiration to a lot of people who feel like I have debt, I have no other income, I don't know how to invest, I don't know how to manage my accounts, I don't have a good story that I tell myself, my mindset shot, I don't have a man. Like, it's a bit of a, it can be a mess. And and I think you're just such a great example of making a decision and going about fixing all those areas and improving. So Thank I'm just so you. proud of you. I really am. I really Thank am. You. You're one, you're great to work with. And uh, this is the beginning. So I can't wait to do another one of these at some point. I don't know <laughs> what you're going to achieve this year, but I do know that by far, would you say it's one of your best years? Oh, hands down, 100%. <laughs> <Hands down. laughs> Yeah, I agree. It's it's awesome. It's going to be a defining year. Well, it is a defining year for you. And you know what? I think for me, what's probably going to be my next thing is to empower women that they can be financially independent, that they can gain that financial knowledge. Like you don't have to depend on on anyone. You can depend on yourself. Yeah, don't have to depend on no man. You got this. No man. Yeah, <laughs> or, or an employer. You know, there's there's. 
being independent is is the journey and uh you're already inspiring women because you're doing this with me and we'll do one on your facebook and that will inspire people it's just everyday folks doing you know extraordinary things by doing that little bit extra so hey you're already inspiring me and, and many other women no doubt in this facebook group so pam thanks so much for giving up your valuable time for us and uh um look let's do this again when you we'll be back i'm sure <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Lloyd. <laughs> you bet. I'll talk to you soon.